Well, I've uh, got to say it's been a long day with no sleep, and uh, I just lay down for a while to uh, listen to the radio and uh, tried to doze off, you know, take a nap. Not necessarily the best thing to do because I hope to sleep tonight. But I had the type of mental experiences that I have been subjected to that have kept me from falling asleep. That is to say, you start to doze off and then you have a, a mental image. Something comes into your mind and it jerks you back into wakefulness. That is basically what prevents me from entering into a state of sleep and is keeping me awake. Lying in bed uh, with my mind flooded, or not just flooded, but periodically visited by these images, just random things, or uh, things that are taking place, things that are part of my life. And they kind of shock you, they shock me into wakefulness. And that's what uh, keeps me awake. So I'm having this experience, lying down here, uh, thinking about taking a nap or just resting up. And I'm unable to because I'm having this experience that's shocking me back into a state of wakefulness. That is basically what I'm up against in this state of depression now with um, an inability to sleep, with insomnia. You want to know what's causing the insomnia? It's the fact that my mind gets to a certain point and then bing! I'm brought back to a state of alertness by some random thought. The other thing that I notice that takes place is my body tenses up, particularly my legs. So I, I'm feeling this physical sense of tension in my body which I then try to relax. And you go through it, you have the relax cycle and think, drift off to sleep and then bingo. Some random thought comes into my head and I'm back wide awake. So that's the experience of insomnia. It is, in a manner of speaking, thoughts that have no particular pertinence to anything at all that take on a larger dimension during depression. And that's what causes the insomnia.